What's up, everybody? This is The Smart Show, episode 29. I am one of your co-hosts, Mike Cat. What's going on, guys? Steve Herman here. That is rather hope, co-host Steve <laughs> Herman. We're missing Nick uh, yet again. again for the like, like, 15th consecutive week, but he will return at some point, guys. Suffering the brutal Liger attacks. Don't hold your breath, because you'll die, but he'll be back eventually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty good episode of Raw this week. Yeah, it was very fun. Very good because Roman Reigns' big show came on it either, so that helps. <laughs> big roller coaster from uh, I mean, last week's yeah, Raw. I mean, fir- this Raw was a lot of fun. Yeah, good matches. Too. Post Fastlane was great. Then uh, yeah, last week was, was a shit just sandwich. atrocious. And yeah. this week is pretty. This good. one was a good Raw. It was fun. Had some dumb stuff, but a lot of good stuff too. But you have to expect that with the three hour Raws. It's yeah. just it's, sometimes it's, there's going to be some shit. It was cool having Shane and Matt come out, you know, right away. Yeah, that that yeah. started off a good crowd way loses to it. Yeah, that's I mean that's the right way to start off the show because the, the energy from the crowd yeah, already absolutely. is like, oh you know shit's gonna happen at this show. They have Shane here, you know. Yeah, absolutely, dude. When he started talking, and he started like shooting, like you know about like there are certain guys that have been getting pushes and don't really have talent. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. oh my god. I, I remember I, I tweeted out on the Smart Show Twitter account. I'm like, dude. I wanted to jump through that TV and give Shane, like, the biggest hug in the world because that's what we say all the freaking time. And he's like, there's some guys that are t- talented as hell that don't get the push What do you think all. that means for him, though? I mean, obviously, they're alluding to Roman Reigns and just copying and pasting yeah. what people are saying online. Yes. For, you know, the Shane and Matt character. Well, like, what does that actually mean for Roman going forward? Because they're clearly talking about Reigns here. But say, uh, you know, he does the impossible, beats Roman, or uh, beats Undertaker at WrestleMania. Who, Shane? Yeah, yeah. becomes yeah. Like, controller of Raw. What's he do with Roman Reigns? Like, you know, with that kind of comment. Because it's clearly directed at Roman Reigns. There's nobody else that maybe would be that means, directed to. I mean, you've been saying they're maybe going to pull an audible. Maybe Roman turns heel and then just Shane, they do a brain split. Roman goes to SmackDown and then Shane has, like, a new leader for Raw or something. Maybe Seth Rollins. He comes back as a face or something because there's rumors now he's uh, training at the Performance Center for his return, which is crazy to think about. He's because he was supposed to be out nine months, and he's already training. Like that guy's a monster. Yeah, everybody always said uh, not that he's going to be back for Mania. I mean, he no, could, no, he not could, He could come out and make an appearance. Yeah, or something. yeah, definitely. Oh, but, he's not going to uh, wrestle. Everybody no. always said if anybody could do it, it was going to be this kid who could come back from a horrific injury like that so quickly. Um, yeah, yeah, he probably won't make, you know, WrestleMania matches. No, I'm not saying that. He could come out there, hit someone with a curb stomp, turn face. Yeah, you exactly. Know? That's what I'm like Doesn't saying. Doesn't really take much, uh, much strenuous, um, you know, can't think of the word I'm looking for I here. Can't it's not very strenuous on his legs. There can't think of the word I was yeah, looking I can't, for. Yeah, I can't think of it. Um, but yeah, like I, like I was saying, like fantasy book, you would have Triple H and Stephanie take over SmackDown, Shane would take over all. Yeah. That would yeah. that would be cool. You know, something different, something fresh. The fact the, brands, he, the matchups would be fresher too. The fact that he specified Raw as well, you know, like he said, I want control of Monday Night Raw. He didn't say I want control of the company. I don't want control of NXT, SmackDown, you know, whatever garbage shows, superstars. If that's still even on. It, it's on the network. But it's main event still on. Yep. Too? Yeah. Yep. Um. You know, he didn't say any of these trash shows. He specifically said Monday Night Raw, and Shane Mack was here for uh, you know the last brand split. Yes, he was. Homeboy was deep in it. Yes, he really was. I mean, he was the sole re- He's bought WCW for that storyline. So. so, yeah, uh, he comes out, crowd goes, you know, ape shit. Yeah, they, they're, <laughs> they're just losing it. How and about that taker tease, dude? Yeah, that was That great. was awesome. That was good by Vince. I, I will give credit when credit is due. That, yeah. was, that was good. That was good. It was good, uh, you know, for, you know, first time in a while in the main card of WWE, seeing the heel get booed and the face get cheered. Yeah. Because the, the face has That's been Roman Reigns for the past, you know, what, nine months, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, there's been guys who have, you know, been suckling it in there every now and then. But, um, you know, it's pretty much been 50% or more. 60% of the crowd boos the face, and then 40% gives a mild or big cheers, but it's still drowned out by the boos. Yes. So it's cool seeing a face get just unanimously, you know, supported, and then... The heel just get jeered and, you know, like hiss, boo that when he comes out. This might be like the first time in the history of my wrestling watching I'm going to root against The Undertaker. Yeah. And that's crazy to say. A lot of people, um, the thing I keep saying is, uh, like, oh, why should we care about this? Like, it needs another step, like, stipulation. Like, you know, why should The Undertaker and Shane even fight? They have no, like, you know, feud or anything. But, I, like, what are people talking about? It's at WrestleMania, first of all. Yeah. Already, that makes it big. Yes. You know? If you're a wrestling fan, if a match is at WrestleMania, even if it's not a great match, if it was on any other card, you might not care. If it's at WrestleMania, wrestling fans just care. Yes, absolutely. Um, no. So, you know, number one, it's at WrestleMania already. Number two, 
It's in Hell in a Cell. Like Hell in the freaking Cell. The song. biggest match stipulation you could add for like a gimmick match, they did that. So like I don't know what people are talking the about. The last there. Hell in the Cell was twenty eight, and that match was awesome. Mike. Yeah. Um, Triple H three. Taker. It's fucking Shane O'Mac. Yeah, it's Shane and McMahon. Undertaker. Like, like <laughs> Shane O'Mac hasn't wrestled in years. Undertaker wrestles like once a year, except yeah. for this past yeah. year. Like, Shane hasn't wrestled I, in eight years. Those two dude. fighting each other is a stipulation enough in itself to get people to watch. And then four, if Shane wins, he gets control of fucking brawl. Like, what are people talking like, about saying? Well, oh, this, this needs more stipulations. Uh, and you know, everyone bitches about. Why should I care if Shane wins? And everyone bitches about the authority uh, storyline. This is something new. It's a face authority figure in Shane, and it would be cool. It'd be interesting. It'd be something different yeah, for like, once. I like. I don't know what the hell people want. Like, and the much, potential of a brain split. How much do you like? Ever go Undertaker and him need to come out and fight? And like, what the? That's the whole point of the match at Mania. You don't want to give away like what you want Undertaker and Shane to come out and have a match so they can build for their match. Like, That's what are stupid. you people talking about? These are. I mean, I get. Be very nice to see them in the same ring together, you know, maybe Undertaker well, face throws off. a strike at Shane or something like that. That That's would cool. be cool, yeah. But, I mean, like, it's not that much. It's not like I'm going to hate the match beforehand and then, you know, if they throw a punch at each other, I'm like, oh, yeah, now I'm geared for this, you know. <laughs> yeah. they, threw a, they threw a punch and, you know, a chair was broken or something. Like, yeah, now I'm ready for this match. Yes, absolutely. You know, Undertaker at Mania and Shane getting control of Raw is fine for me. Yeah, I, I can't complain. And you know, you just throw, throw both of them in a cell on top of that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool. Like, and I, there could be potential run-ins yeah. too, for all we know. It you started know? the show, you know, it, and it's not, that's what people keep getting confused too. This is not Shane O'Mac versus The Undertaker. That's not the feud. That's the match. Yes. The feud is Shane O'Mac versus the Ma- McMahon family, yes. not him. Yep. It's, it's not about, you know, a battle of wills between Shane and Undertaker. It will be when they're in the ring. But the overall arcing story here is we want to see the authority topple, and Shane will be the guy to do that. Now, people say, well, why would The Undertaker want to fight in a match like this? Because of what Vince said later in the program. It's, uh, what did he say? It's ironic that um, my, my greatest, my greatest creation. creation will put to rest my greatest failure. Yeah, that was a that great line. That is why The line. Undertaker will fight Shane at Hell in a Cell, because he's Vince McMahon's greatest creation. He's the most loyal company guy Arguably, they've ever had on he their is. entire no, roster. Yeah, I, well, I mean, you maybe say Cena. Like Triple H, Cena. Yeah, yeah. Tri- I mean, there's other guys. But Taker's been there but, the yeah, longest. Taker yeah. has. You know, Taker fucking fought King Kong Bundy. Like, oh, think John, about John, how John long. Home, yeah, think about how long Homeboy's been just with WWF. Then it came to WWE, yep. and he's still here. Still fights at Mania every single year. Still shows up when they need a big guy to come out. So that is why he will fight for Vince McMahon. You know, he's gone against the, the company in the past, but he sticks with the company. When the company needs him, he does what the company needs him to do. That's why he's going to fight Shane. Like, there doesn't have to be some underlying like like, said, yeah. soap opera twist as to why, you know, Vince doesn't need to, uh, I mean, you know, he could have the urn or something like that. That could be cool, but it yeah. doesn't need to happen. No. Vince being his boss and Taker being a company guy, an old school wrestling guy, that's enough. Absolutely. And he said, he pretty much said, too, I don't want to fight him. Like, I, I'm, I'm not trying to kill your son, but if you want me to fight him, just let it know that it's on your hands, you know, what I do to him. I, I just don't see what more people like, I mean, really just the want. two names alone has to sell, in my opinion, you know? <laughs> yeah. They did a good job uh, here, like, with the whole segment, too, and making yeah, Shane... Yeah, it was a fun segment. Yeah, you know, looking... I mean, he beat up security guards, I, you know, anyone, any wrestler... But it was cool, though. You're pretty just much, yeah, Shane, pretty much Shane any wrestler ever action. has beat up the security guards, but... <laughs> It's good to see them, like, trying to show him as, you know, at least somewhat of a threat. Yeah, and then, you know, the crowd was hot for that, too. They were doing the yes chance. It was hot. It was a hot moment. JBL must have been listening to the Smart Show podcast, too, because he brought up what we were saying, that they need to bring up, you know, past guys Shane's beaten. He brought yeah. up, he beat uh, tri- uh, HBK. Yeah, that's uh, true. I think Big Show, he said he beat, too. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they're taking the Well, they had the that right nice little video forward. package of Shane, too. They're really good at those video packages. Oh, yeah, great. Top-notch. <laughs> Top notch. Man. How great was that uh, when uh, Vince was like, you know, talking shit? I don't remember what the hell he said. <laughs> just an echoing chant of CM Punk. Oh, no. Oh, immediately. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, that was so, that's so oh. great that Chicago gets to do that. Like, and, you know, like any, like Philly could do it, Detroit could do it, but it doesn't mean as much as if Chicago does it. It's such, like, just a fuck you to Vince McMahon. Oh, yeah. And, you know, Vince, what can he do about Vince it? Vince is like, oh, I thought it lasts longer. Yeah. Which was, he, he knew it lasted long. That yeah. was awkward. I mean, he, pl- he played it off, too. I mean, and he was getting the big what chance, too. Yeah. That was great. He always was, gets them. Yeah, oh, let me give uh, kudos to that Ch- Chicago crowd, man. They were an awesome crowd that night. Yeah, they're Real always, good. They're, they're always, always good, but they really stepped it up. Really stepped it up, in my opinion. 
I, uh, I'm just, I'm real excited for this match. I think, you know, what most people think, it's going to turn into some, you know, shenanigans at the end where Steph runs out, tries to get involved, you know, Triple R. Um, I think we'll see. Vince runs out, tries to get involved. Triple H maybe does. It's like there's oh, gonna, Triple H won't There's going to be a lot of bullshit that goes on. It's going to be match. the Sting Triple H yeah, match. It's not just. Year. It's not just going to be Undertaker and him in a cell. No, it's like it. I said. Yeah, Rodham's. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to see that. I like that. I yeah. think that's going to be cool. I think I'll be fun. Maybe Taker goes in and he beats the shit out of Shane and then he just lays on the mat, pulls Shane on top of him. Yeah. You know, that'd be controversial. We could for see. Sure. We could see. You know, old school Vince driving down in the goddamn. Like tractor tries to rip the cage door off to oh, get in yeah. there, you know, and if the Undertaker turns on him or whatever, there's there's a lot of stuff there's, that can happen, but yeah, unlimited I opportunities. Very to highly it. doubt it's going to be you know one two three go, and then we just get a three two, you know a pin at the end. That's no. not going to happen. No, there's going to be a lot of interference. Not a lot, but there'll be some people. In it. Speaking of interference, same Zayn baby. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, ole, that was ole, awesome. ole 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 ole. <laughs> that was awesome. Couldn't oh have been God. a better. Like, that segment was. Couldn't awesome. have been a better opponent for him to be beating up to the Neville. You know the, the history those three have together. Oh, Sammy it's disgustingly Rossell. good, dude. But dude, that match. Let's talk about that match first. Owens and Neville. They yeah. put on a top notch performance, for man. Such little time too, especially for like a, an yeah, IC title feud. Man, that was beautiful. I mean, uh, how about that? Sh- the shooting star press from the top rope, man. That was yeah. awesome. Neville, I would say hands down is the most athletic guy they have in the company. That dude can do. I would say someone else, team. but he's close. There's two close ones. Who'd you say? Styles. Oh no, dude! Neville's athleticism is way over stuff. Yeah, Styles it's, cl- it's a, close. Styles it's is close. a great ring like yeah. performer technician, but the shit that Neville can make yeah, his body true. do. Well, no, Neville's the best. I, I, that's what I'm saying. The, sh- the things that hey, he can make his body yeah. do, it just like you need to be such a ridiculous athlete to have yeah. that kind of body control. Another good one would be just Cruz. to do the red arrow. Yeah. Another, like, could you yeah. imagine standing on the top rope no. and just trying to do a red arrow? <laughs> I would die. Me and you would die before we hit the ground. God <laughs> would smite us. He'd be like, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> and you knew it and you did it anyway and you're going to die for it. Yeah. <laughs> Neville just goes out there just perfectly executes it every time. Such a waste of talent. Like hey, Neville. But, yeah. So many NXT shame. guys. That brings up, uh, you know, what, Vince, what, what was the thing Vince said? Uh, 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 he's not in favor of the NXT brand. He's not a big fan of it. And I take this, I personally, like, take this as heel, like him trying to get heel heat. He knows, you know, right now he's battling the Smark fans because he's battling Shane. That's who he stands for. So him coming out with a comment like this, which oh. is such bullshit because NXT is universally acclaimed by, like, everybody who's ever watched wrestling. So I just think this is him trying to get people to hate him even more going into the Shane fight. Yeah, but the way he books certain guys, though, like Breeze and the Ascension. I definitely know? agree to to an extent, yeah. but then, I mean, look at his top guy, NXT guy, Roman Reigns. No, I know. Look at the top guy before him, Seth Rollins, NXT guy. Triple H is the runner of NXT, and he's holding the belt. Yeah. Dean Ambrose is fighting him right now, NXT guy. Rusev had an undefeated streak for almost a year, NXT guy. Uh, Owens holds the IC yeah. belt, NXT. Kalisto, NXT. So... I don't see any real truth in that, but I think it's just him. Maybe I mean. I think there I, I is some that, truth. I take I that back. Some truth yeah, I don't. I don't want to say there, there's an, and not any real truth because there probably is. Vince probably just wants to. Oh no, I just want to go find big strong guys at bars and strong. give them uh, contracts. I don't care about talent, but there, he definitely was saying some of that just to piss us off because he's playing the full blown Mister McMahon heel character right I, now. Yeah, he definitely is. He most certainly is. But, but dude, yeah, that match, man. Yeah, that Sammy, good. Sammy Zayn. Well, they, they, no, I thought Owens was going to hit that uh, power bomb on the apron on Neville. I, I, I forgot there was like a rumor that there's going to be someone coming out, and like when Zayn's music hit, I lost. <laughs> the crowd went nuts, and they did the freaking awesome punches back and forth. One mm. of my oh, dude, they had just enough like exchange too. Where yeah, it wasn't perfect. overdone. Oh my god, the moment wasn't too long, wasn't too <laughs> yeah. short. But there's. And, you know, it makes perfect sense to do Zayn versus Owens, but that's, there's rumors I'm hearing, and it's just so stupid. That's another money feud right there, man. Um, you look at, like, just past great WWE feuds, you know, Matt Hardy versus Edge, you know. Ambrose uh, and Rollins. Triple H versus um, pretty much everybody from the Attitude Era. <laughs> Triple H yeah, was great. Yeah, Cac- Cactus Jack, Rob. Yeah, I would mainly say his, I think his best is from just that era, too. Uh, Jesus Christ, just from that uh, era. Would be mankind. Those two put on some fucking phenomenal matches. Yeah, they did. Matches. Absolutely. But you got Austin Rock, Austin McMahon, Hogan Macho Man. I think 
Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens is the next tier of those just legendary rivalries. I think and it has I think to Seth, be. I, you said it earlier, too. I think Seth Ambrose is one of those, two. Yeah, where definitely is. They can just go back to that throughout those guys' careers, and they're just going to you know keep just elevating each other. Up and it's a fun feud. One. So much fun. It has. It's a real feud, too. It's not like, uh, hey, you didn't tag me in last week, so now we're going to fight for three months until one of us wins twice. Like, that's a bull. I hate those feuds. But this is one... Where, you know, months of building up. Owens came in that, uh, you know, NXT, Sami Zayn's domain, took it over, yeah. injured him, then left before Sami could do anything about it. Yeah. Went on to, you know, big things in the main roster while Sami's still stuck down there. Rehabbing you know, he's got the IC title and he's trying to do it to somebody else. Ironically, one of uh, Sami's friends yep. in Neville. Yeah. And Sami said, nope. And he came out and they went nuts and they were hammering each other down and he got the clothesline out of the ring and Owen's face just sold it. Like just in disbelief that he was here. Mm -hmm. It was great. Great segment. Money. What um what were you saying uh, about WrestleMania and these two? You said you heard some bad rumors. I heard some bad rumors. It's it's I I'm hearing that it's it's a cool match, but it should be Zane versus Owens. I'm hearing it's a multi multi man ladder match with the IC title. And they're doing a singles match for the US title See, with I, Ryback and Kalisto. I disagree with you. I think that's a good thing. You think? Um, I, mean, I feel like I Owens don't want to over, that spot. I don't want to overexpose this feud yet. I want to really? just keep letting it simmer. Put it on the low burner. Let it go, go, go. You know, <laughs> maybe Sami Zayn comes in here. Um, you know, Owens is about to win. Sami Zayn pulls him off the ladder. Miz climbs up and grabs the title. Whoever else is in the match. Right. For, we don't know yet. So. All that, you know. All it's that does official, is so just, yeah. you know, put more animosity between these two. So when they have that, that major singles match against yeah, each other. It has other. to be a big pay It will be match. a huge moment. And again, I mean, I get what you're saying. WrestleMania could be fine. And I wouldn't be mad at all if that happened. But, like, media. I'm just saying, what would you rather see? Zane or Owens or Kalisto and Ryback? <laughs> oh, you'll, like, come on. <laughs> but, you know, if the match is, a, you know, a four-man ladder match between Neville, Miz, um, I would Owens, say Ziggler's and uh, Zane, got to be in there, too. He's not. He's fighting the League of Nations now. He's nowhere near. Well, that'll be Owens. New Day. New uh, He'll be in there. I don't, I don't think so. Dude. I guarantee it. Why? But I'm, are you saying like it's a six man? Or are they going to do people he's been fighting with? Because him Owens? and Ziggler are done. I mean, they haven't even had TV time. Well, they, with they each other. do that all the time, though. They haven't had TV time with each other in months, or not months, uh, a month. What? Well, that doesn't matter though. They they just put seven random guys like last year. So then, the, why are they having right? Ziggler do like a whole like thing versus the League of Nations? Well, I've been here in New Day, so I don't know. So, yeah, I these are don't put any fucking. Anything in these stupid dirt cheap rumors because they just contradict what they well, say all the time. I mean, it's but it's it's got some truth. I mean, Roblox. It's going to be the Sheamus and Barrett versus New Day. So I mean, there's got to be something to that. I don't know. I but very. Why would, why would you have I do that? not think Dolph Ziggler will be fighting for the IC belt of Mania. Guarantee. It. Let's put a fifty dollar bet on that. Uh, right no, no yeah, okay. so he doesn't guarantee it because he's a bitch. Well, I'm not gonna bet fifty dollars. And I would make you take that fifty and buy a fucking microphone. Well, because listen, all right, smart we're not show we're viewers, not gonna talk about this. You know, this guy has been telling me, oh yeah, I'm gonna get a microphone so we can have our own mics for quality audio. For what would you say, Steve? Like. Since Whatever. the show started, and I got a mic two weeks after, you know, we, we started up, you were like, oh, yeah, I'll get one. All right, My this is not is the time up. to do this. Christmas is coming. Oh, no, the viewers want to know. No, they don't. They want to know your heel turn. Well, I am being... What happened to last week? Hey, I'll get a mic by this by next week, Mike. Cross my heart, hope to die. I swear in my parents' life. Well, I don't... Have... That's what he told me, guys. He swore I'm in busy. his parents' oh, life. Oh, my God. No, I didn't just say that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but, no... I would uh I would absolutely love <laughs> any way, shape, or form where Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are fighting each other at Mania. Yeah. Like, you know, put them in a six man feud with Ziggler and Neville, whoever the hell like it is. Stardust, maybe. I don't give a shit. If those two are in it, it'll be cool. Yeah, exactly. And I would just I you, feel like they deserve you know, a big As long as Jey Uso doesn't walk away with the IC title, well, be I'll be cool. Yeah. But, you know, but like if the Miz took it, it's fine. Yeah. Ziggler took it, fine. Neville, I'm cool with that. That uh, actually Cesaro, pretty cool. I'm cool with that. Put it on one of the social outcast guys. Give them some actual credibility. You know that could be cool. Yeah, um, I just feel when the Zane Owens match happens, it has to happen at one of the four big pay per views. Whether oh, it's definitely. Rumble, Survivor Series, SummerSlam, or Mania, it ha it, that you has have to respect happen. Respect for payback, bro. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Payback's ass. Come on. All right, so let's say the six man, whatever, or four man, whatever the I'll hell say it is. Six. Let's say it doesn't happen, and they just you know go with the Zane and Owens. Yeah, who benefits most? You think from taking a W there? I think, uh, shit. Uh, Owens. See, it's hard. I mean, it's no, hard. I would say Owens. I would say you Owens. think so? Absolutely. Oh, that's tough, though. See, I, w I was trying to think about that. I would earlier, say Owens. You know? 
There's a lot of different routes they could go. You could just, you know, have Owens take the win again, get just a real cheap heel win. Don't give him a clean win yeah. over Sammy in his first uh, loss on the main roster. Have Owens get some, you know, just crap win over That's Sammy. Why That's going to piss him off even more. It's going to just make people hate Owens even more because he just keeps getting away with things, sneaking out. It's a roll up pin on Sammy and just runs up the WrestleMania ramp. You like know? Seth, yeah. Yeah, just does you know, just leaves. Doesn't gloat nothing. Yeah, but it you bring would up a- infuriate fans and it would infuriate Sammy Zayn, so next time when they fight, people just want Sammy to get over even more. And you could just keep building that, yeah, keep absolutely. building that. But you bring up a good point, it would be Sammy's first match though on a main roster pay per view. So mm-hmm. it'll be well besides Rumble, he was at the Rumble, but I guess singles like a big match. Yeah. That's why I think it's best for Owens to win because of Sammy's first pay per view. Because okay. you, Sammy Zayn is Daniel Bryan storyline wise, like the underdog baby face. He really That's is. Sammy Zayn, whether they want him to be or not. He should be. Just body, everything about him, his move set, like his he's body, a lo- he's another likable guy. He talks, yeah, he's just someone people like, love him. Yeah, you just want to like the guy. He's, he's he just comes off as just one of those genuinely good people. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, just have him keep losing. Fans are going to stay behind a guy. I mean, oh, I'm gonna look stay at Ziggler. Behind. Fans are still behind Ziggler. And what, like, yeah. what? Except he got a mediocre reaction this week. But fans are still pretty much behind that guy. Opinion. And, you know, he's yeah. just a likable guy. So people are going to stick yeah. with him. Sammy is, even though I'm a huge Ziggler fan, way more likable than Dolph Ziggler. So yeah, he is. if you give him some uh, some sympathy, you know, have Owens take the take the pin. Goes his own way. Sammy goes another way in the main roster for a little bit, and then they lock horns at SummerSlam or something again. That would again. be perfect. Perfect. That would be perfect. But just as well, you could have Sammy come up, take the IC belt from Kevin Owens, finally get his comeuppance well, I'm fine with that from too. everything that happened in NXT, and Sammy Zayn, someone I could easily see turning the IC belt into like, you know, I fought you know real hard to get this. You know, I had to beat a lot of people, and for that, you know, I want to give everybody else the opportunity. So. I'm going to start the Sami Zayn open challenge for the IC belt each week. I could easily see something like yeah. that happening, too. So I think... He's that kind of guy. Either way, you win. I just think with Owens, you probably win a little bit more since he's already the established commodity on the main roster. Absolutely, yeah. I couldn't agree more. But that but was an A-plus segment, though. Great segment. However, now that I'm even thinking about it, if you uh, you know take the belt from Owens, um, give it to Sami Zayn, let him do what we were just talking about, no one's is uh, just floundering around waiting for that top heel spot that's currently vacant in the company because Triple H is going to be stepping down after Mania. You're going to need a big bad guy to take that. Why? Why? Why doesn't he just like uh, get that little briefcase? Yeah, that'd be nah, nice, I, wouldn't it? Uh, nah, dude, it's better for Alberto Del Rio to win that. Or Big Show. Yeah, the League, 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 League of Nations needs to look strong. Yeah, Sheamus needs another. So, speaking of, yeah, they fought Ziggler like we were talking about. Yeah, three on one handy uh, elimination match. But what, how weird is this? Like this story that just came out of nowhere. Like they're talking about the Survivor Series it was like, thing it was like from a tweet. two years yeah. ago. Like, now. I remember Nick used to mention it all the time. One, yeah. he would always talk about that match. Like they don't bring it up anymore. Now they finally bring it up because he made a tweet. They were trying to like. He had to delete it from the yeah. authority. Like, it's just a job out, Ziggler. I, again, all that is, is to you know make, what pissed me all off? All that is is to make him look, um, you know, strong going, or not strong. <laughs> make the, I meant make the League yeah. of Nations look strong and dismembering someone who but, speaks against the people they work for. You know what pissed me off, though? Ziggler beat Barrett, and yeah, then Ziggler lost. Say, like, yeah. you got me freaking kidding me. Like, how big? <laughs> One like, more come kick on in Barrett's ribs before and he Ziggler goes too. out of the company. Yeah. Both of them. Like, God damn, man. Like, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's just... I don't know. It's just a waste of time at this point. Like yeah. I love Dolph Ziggler. Like I'm, I have to be one of his biggest fans out there. You definitely are. But I most certainly, are. like I don't even want to see him out there if this is what they're gonna do. Like you're just gonna bring him out, job him out, and then like you're gonna do it next week I with mean, somebody I'm, else. Like what the fuck? At dude? least give him a title shot once in a while, like a B pay per view. I mean, obviously, we can't expect WrestleMania because we like to give that to Roman. So yeah. But give the guy a title shot. I mean, he is up there. Like he's an upper echelon wrestler for that. You know, yeah, they well, don't they don't see that. They don't see that. I think they do. They see, do. They but do. They but they don't, don't do. It, they it's kind of like you know the thing with like the Rhodes family, like how they were always like dicks to Dusty Rhodes when he was younger. Cody got shafted. Gold Dust turned into a transsexual on the main roster. Yeah. Like, they have dudes, CM Punk's and other. They just have dudes and like women too that they just. You're not getting shit from us, you know. You know, here's some scraps every couple of months. Stay, you know, somewhat relevant, but you know it's just a waste of time. I I'm just gonna vomit if this turns into. 
you know, some crap feud at Mania. You I know, can't see League that. of Nations versus, I don't know, Ziggler, Ziggler and two and random, yeah, just two random other face assholes that, like, have no they reason to be have, together. They always have to get that stupid They always have tag. one of those. That's why, like... Last I, year they didn't. Last year that's they didn't. Why, well, that's why I was, like, so vehemently against Ziggler in that IC match from earlier, because, like, it just seems like they're setting him up for just a waste of time match <laughs> that they, they seem to do every single yeah. year with somebody. It makes sense, though. You, know, you have the League of Nations. But, you know, uh, who do... Uh, Big Show's a face, right? People will be mad if he loses. Put him with Ziggler and uh, who else do people like? R Truth? Yeah. You know what Big the- Show, R Truth, and Ziggler versus the League of Nations. Let's expect people to react to this. I don't know why you've never talked about this. Like, how mad have you like not been? Like, Ziggler's never gotten a singles match in WrestleMania history. It's not even just mad. It, I, I'm just disappointed. Like Roman Reigns, that's how I feel Roman with, Reigns has two singles matches, and yeah. Ziggler's been there for like ten years. Yeah, it's, it's like, just how I feel with the most of the call. I'm just you know this. This interested or just, like how you know. like ridiculous is that, dude? Like I he, like last year ladder match, thirty battle royal, twenty nine was in a tag match, twenty eight tag match, twenty seven tag match. Yeah, like who like, was a world kidding? champion? Two time, well, yeah. one time, whatever. Give him that goddamn belt. Not even give him like a main feud, like someone like I don't freaking know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I I hear you. It's I feel bad. Like I like I he deserves that spot. He works his ass off and doesn't get anything rewarded. No, they gotta make room for you know like people like fucking Braun Strowman. Brie, ba- Brie Bella will get a WrestleMania win this year. That's what they you know Ziggler you know let's throw him to the side because this dude doesn't come out and have you know arguably a plus ma- Ziggler can have an A plus match with any person on that roster. I don't care who it is. Ziggler can bring out an A plus match if you give Ziggler the platform and time. He can pull an A plus match out of anyone in that company. I, I he will pull an A plus match out of Braun Strowman if you give him. The right time and place. Yeah, the like, right story, yeah. too. If you want a superstar in the company who can just... just I'm not talking about sell a feud or anything. I'm just saying a quality the match. match. Yeah. Dolph Ziggler's your guy. But no, he won't get his moment because, you know, fucking Brie Bell is going to need to get a WrestleMania win because she's retiring. Like, <laughs> who cares? No one cares. Like, for real, nobody cares. Her better half is still going to stick around. I mean, so, like, yeah. it's essentially like you have a fatty tumor on someone and you cut the shit piece off. Oh, my and God. You cap the decent piece. Like, what, am I going to throw a funeral for your, for your fucking stomach ulcer that you got rid of? Like, oh, my God. She is trash on every level. She can't talk. Like, she's more robotic than heel Ryback trying to... Talk, talk trying to talk like, super. It's awful. Like it is terrible. <laughs> all she does is just reiterate things Daniel Bryan says, mentions her sister, and you know all this cheap pop crap. I'm like total divas. You know, then she starts wrestling, and oh my god, it's atrocious. I can't believe no one's died in the ring with let this me girl. Ask, let me ask. She is bad. Well, she doesn't do any moves that would kill people. Yes. Here's, here's a missile drop kick. Uh, here's a the kicks to Bella the Buster, whatever the hell their f- stupid finishers called, and uh, yeah. Here's Daniel Bryan's kicks. Let me, let me ask a question. What match makes you cringe more? Bella, Brie Bella versus Lana or Taker versus Sherman? Uh, definitely Taker versus Sherman. Yeah, Truman. yeah. No, without a chance. I'm just curious. I'm just curious what you thought. I'd be happy to see Lana just in any way, dude, shape, or form. Dude, how about Lana cool. on Raw, dude? I mean, she looked hot as shit. She had her Dolph Ziggler gear on. Yeah. Oh, my God. I love Lana so what the, much. What the hell is that? She looked some 1980s like, whore from New Jersey or something. I don't know, like, but she looks they, great, though. What are they trying to Dude, like, she's the hottest evil in that freaking roster, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. She's so hot. I like, know. Oh, I take that back. Sasha Banks gets the number one spot for me. Oh, so Lana's it, great, though. It, Sasha's too. But right, it's close. It's close. But, like, for a match, I mean, like, like I said, like, I'm, I'm pro seeing Lana. But I don't know if her first real match should be at WrestleMania. She gets a singles match before Ziggler? Like, yeah. That makes no sense. Before a lot of guys that worked their asses off. And don't get me wrong, Lana has worked her ass off to do what she does, but not like the guys like Dolph Ziggler's out there. And I guess it's, it's literally it's just because of favoritism. It's just so Brie Bella can say before she retires, hey, I got a WrestleMania win. Yep. Like that, I mean, that's what it's going to be. And you know Daniel Bryan. I'm saying this like it's factual. I mean, maybe. for all I know, Lana gets the W and whatever happens, but like. Either way, Lana and Brie Bell are getting a singles match, and Dolph Ziggler has yet to have one. <laughs> it's 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 atrocious. You know? no, Randy yeah. Orton is injured right now. You know, he was smited from the head. That would have been a great feud, Orton and Ziggler, maybe. Oh, so many good ones. That would have been a good one. Yeah, like a real cocky, yeah, real cocky, arrogant face Ziggler yes. versus like the legend killer yeah. Randy Orton. Oh, cool. Just that demon. You don't even have a stipulation. Oh, yeah. That'd be a badass match. That'd be fun. That'd be a fun match. Speaking for sure. Badass match. Oh, God. Uh, Ambrose versus Wyatt. Oh, that match. Oh, yeah. Whew. That was good. <laughs> Dude, those dudes put on 
phenomenal matches every single time. Yeah, they, they, they are great I know workers. You, you were waiting for me to talk about the Y2AJ. Yeah, I thought you were. I, I, that, that, that was my match. I wanted to hop right into <laughs> Yeah, that, that's fine. Go right ahead. Well, I'm hot on it because... Go ahead. Goddamn Bray Wyatt touching that belt. Oh, like, no, 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 no. With the chills the, through my spine. The, gr- the little graze just, yeah, on the just belt. Very, he oh. just caressed it. Oh. Dude, that is why Bray Wyatt is so great because in 10 seconds, Bray Wyatt, even less, him staring at Triple H... The yeah. way he looks to the belt and in the way he just subtly caresses it sold me more on him as a top guy in WWE. Than Roman Reigns. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I knew like, you were going even there. more than like like anything Ambrose has done recently. Like just the the mannerisms that Bray Wyatt can can make himself do, especially even when he's not talking, and that's his strongest point. Like the way that he looked at the belt and then just slowly touched it, it was almost like the first time he recognized the title. The he was like, oh shit, like. You know, maybe uh, this predator, like he reset his. So you know, I don't want to conquer the whole roster. I just want that belt. That's something you haven't seen from Bray Wyatt yet. Like that. Um, uh, the fans him, are lo- him really wanting something. Like he always says, like I am the face. You know, follow me. Blah blah blah. But he's never really like chased anything. Sure, no. he's wanted to like beat people and fights and feuds and all that kind of stuff. But he's never really followed a prize. He's fought in money in the bank, yada, 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 but the title is just a whole nother thing. Yes, it is. And, you know, seeing that gold glint in his eyes when he saw it, and then, you know, the look in Triple H's face, that's a money feud right there waiting to happen. Absolutely. The fans were loving it, too, dude. Oh, my God. They were doing the yes chance because they wanted Bray to, like, attack him. <laughs> that would have been really cool. But, like, it, it just confuses me even more. And, you know, kudos to WWE if this is their strategy, like, what they're intending to do, but, like, the main event for WrestleMania is very, like, up in the air kind of right now. Like, what's going to happen? Um, which is a good and bad thing, I guess you could say. But, like, I kind of want to know exactly who's in my WrestleMania main event, you know, yeah. at this point. Right. Like, We're four weeks for all away. we know, it could be Dean Ambrose versus Roman Reigns if he wins it. Uh, Ro- He's not going to, but I'm just going to lay out the possibilities. Yeah, okay. Him versus Triple H, he wins at Roadblock and then takes the belt, and then you have him versus Roman. You could have him get some fluke, you know, win at the at the pay per view, and then you have a triple threat. Yeah. The way they just teased Wyatt with the belt, you know, three weeks before Mania, we could see Bray Wyatt rear his head into there. Brock Lesnar's still looming around just in the darkness somewhere. We don't know what the hell's going on with that guy. Yeah, because we haven't seen him since the week after. And then you have Triple H himself. Like, so you have, like, five guys right now that they're kind of, like, you know, like, I don't really know what's going on. Obviously, the main thing is going to be Roman versus Triple H. Like, that's what they've been building to. But, like, why even have that stare down with Wyatt and Triple H? And why have him touch the title? And, like, you know, why have him and Dean Ambrose fight this week? If you're not going to, it could go just be a tease it. for the future because like Triple H has done that before. I've seen him. He he used to he did a stare down with Ryback like two years ago, and I thought that was going to lead to something. But you know that, that's a different character. But I just I hope so, it does lead to something. Like really how great do. would that be if we had a like a fucking fatal five away at WrestleMania that, between Ambrose, different. Reigns, Lesnar, Triple H, and Wyatt. That'd be or cool. any you know a, a, like any form of that other than just Triple H versus Roman Reigns. Yeah, it is, that would be cool, but. dude. It is such bullshit. Uh, this roadblock pay per view very aptly named because all it is is a roadblock for WrestleMania feuds because it's just jumbling the WrestleMania card having a paper. Well, it's not a true pay per view, but it really is a pay per view. Yeah. Um, you know, this close to Mania, you're. I mean, I guess this is why Ambrose is getting pushed. They're just pushing him for this pay-per-view, and then Roman comes back afterwards and then, you know, takes the lead for the last three weeks going to Mania. Yep. But, like, them having this pay-per-view, like, you can't really build to Mania because you got to do this little show first. And that was always my problem with the Elimination Chamber and now Fastlane pay-per-view. Like, I always felt like right after Rumble, you should immediately begin building WrestleMania feuds. Yes. And then you had to get through another pay-per-view, which I always thought was just really weird. But now you're going to have two pay-per-views in between Rumble and Mania that you have to build up stories for. And it's like, we're, it's still not even clear what's going to happen on this car. We've got an NXT Tag Titles Championship. Yeah. We've got Triple H versus Dean Ambrose. For the title, yeah. We've got Brock versus mm-hmm. Wyatt, which is just so low-key. Like, they haven't even looked they, at each they, other they in mentioned, months. Yeah, they mentioned it on Raw when he first fought. Uh, he's fighting Ambrose in the main event. Like, yeah, Bray will be fighting Brock. I'm like... You couldn't like hype yeah. this up a little bit more. Like, and Jesus. then we have some non-entity match between the the New Day and the League of Nations. Yes, nobody cares about. Yeah, yeah. I, I wonder who's gonna win. Yeah, uh, you know they'll they'll have they'll have like League of Nations win that too. Like just some, some <laughs> dumb shit. You know, I'm actually looking for. I mean, 
the, it's, it's a predictable card, but I'm actually I'm looking. Oh, yeah, it'll be fun. Matches. Like I said, Wyatt versus Lesnar. Yeah, that that'll seems be cool. like that'll be crazy. Yeah, Ambrose this versus Triple, Triple H, H for the first time. Maybe. Crazy That's be cool. NXT That'd be cool. tag title. Crazy. I'm just saying. It'll it's be a fun clear. show to watch. Like yeah. it's not clear what we're going to get at Mania. And if that's WWE's prerogative, like they want to keep things hazy because they don't want us to see Roman Reigns winning from eight years away, you know, kudos to them because it seems like he might not win at this point. It's still over. It's probably like seventy percent he's going to win. I would say hard, but, but that's me. It's a lot less than the ninety nine percent that he was, you know, coming out of Royal Rumble. Like yeah, yeah. after Royal Rumble, it was like, oh, Roman Reigns wins at WrestleMania. Now it's like Roman Reigns is most likely going to win at WrestleMania, but. You know, there's like a 5% chance Ambrose comes out, right. 5% chance Lesnar, 5% chance Wyatt. Like, I, it's better I, than nothing. I'll agree with that. But it's yeah. better than just knowing um, after Royal Rumble, I'm just waiting to see Roman Reigns hold the belt in two months over Triple H's, you know, decrepit corpse under him after 15 spears or whatever the hell he's going to hit him with. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not entertained thanks, with that. Thanks for that uh, back I'm and so- forth there, Steve. Sorry. Yeah. Well, what, what do you want me to say? Here's some dead air. Go- uh, yeah. <laughs> no opinion after. Yeah. I need. I need. I need something to work with. Here, well, I, I. can't stand the man. What do you want me to say? I'm just gonna reiterate how much I hate him. Do it. Do I it. hate Roman. Let the hate. I go can't. Through your I veins. can't stand him. He's terrible. Let it pour like, out of your fingernails. Ah! Pour out of every orifice on your body. Like, and dude. Then like, express it's just, it into this. Like, just this the way he's bought, Just the way he talks. He's just terrible, and it's just stupid that he's getting another freaking main event. It pisses <laughs> me the hell off. That's all I gotta say. How do you feel about uh Ryback? Right now. Oh, fucking retarded, dude. <laughs> God, that promo was fucking terrible. Yeah, I'm saying fuck a lot. Now. Dude, it was ridiculous. He was, like, talking, like, monotone. I am better than superheroes. And they were just chanting Ryback. <laughs> what? Like, that was Vince McMahon. And that's, like, I, I'm actually, uh, I've been a fan of Ryback. No, we love Ryback. Past. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I, past, I like Ryback. In the past, Ryback, like, he's, he's, like, he's cut some very, um, like, passionate promos yeah, like you yes. really felt the, the guy behind Ryback um, remember you talked about his injuries before yeah like yeah, you, you really felt yeah. that guy coming out and then like you're just gonna be like blah, blah, blah. I get he's a heel so I'm not supposed to be like yeah Ryback I after his promos he's a heel but I think he's like more of a tweener right now He's because like he's still I just think I, I, I think he just hasn't embraced the volume yeah. yet I think he's a, you know, I definitely think he's you a know heel. kind of his ca- the character he reminds me of a little bit because he's like he wants people to respect him punk Goldberg <laughs> uh, oh yeah. yeah, how about him? Uh, did oh you see yeah, him? The, yeah, that the, was the great. Sleep? Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Dude, I love Ryback. That because CM Punk's such a piece of shit. Like I hate that pussy. And uh, Ryback okay, just uh, Ryback. I'm not gonna agree with that one. <laughs> Ryback. Oh, dude, I hope that. I know. Okay, oh, none of that. Can't wait <laughs> until he gets his shit kicked in. If he ever even fights in the MMA, he's pulling out of his fights. Probably. Won't. But um, dude, him just him just put. The- <laughs> It's to his head, especially after all the shit CM Punk talked oh, about trying, him on the Cole yeah. Cabana podcast. It was great. It was just great. He was trying to get the crowd away because they were bored for the uh-huh. match. It was him and Axel. Ryback. Yeah, Axel. I mean, of all cities, that's going to uh, that's gonna get them to uh, react quite a bit. Yeah, you, you better believe it. CM Punk. CM Punk. <laughs> Dude, I wish Philly had something we could just yell at Vince McMahon like that. that uh. just, I, mean, I mean, you know, there's things that we could say, but... You're a dick. <laughs> I dislike your choices. <laughs> just, just a crowd. Like I'm like just a megaphone a crowd, or something. Just a, a crowd in unison. We disagree. <laughs> we disagree. <laughs> just just a, a very blanketed, plain statement. Oh my God. <laughs> All, right. All right, but my mat. Let's talk about the, my favorite match of the night: the tag team titles. Y two AJ first <laughs> day. That match. My opinion was the best. That's one of the best tag matches I've seen on the main roster in quite me, some time. It made me not want the Y two AJ breakup. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like I've been. I'm like, what? Are you really gonna have fucking AJ <laughs> in a tag team out of the mania? <laughs> then I'm like, no, Jericho, <laughs> don't do it. Don't turn on him. <laughs> God damn it. That, yeah, I mean, they did a good job with that too. You know, they printed up all the shirts and everything. Well, yeah, for Y2AJ. usually don't. They gave him a name as a tag team. Like, yeah. they really booked them up. Like, no, no, these guys are going to stay together. Yeah, that's and, a great. That was really good. But like the second the match ended, I knew he was turning on him right after the match. But it was still like they did a good job of making it not blatantly obvious. Oh, yeah, it wasn't really obvious because mm-hmm. obviously you saw the fans on the screen. Some of them were kind of shocked. But dude, this match is why awesome. the new day better have a, a real like. That's what I do. Like I know you're saying they might fight the League of Nations, but like that's so depressing. Because they haven't even hinted at that on the main roster, really. Like, there's two do nothing with well, each other. Well, besides Fastlane. They do nothing with each other on the show. And I like, know. then they're just going to, oh, well, now they're just going to fight for the titles and I'm supposed to give a shit. 
Like, are you kidding me? No, it doesn't and make the any new day sense. too. Like the new day are heels too. So. Well, apparently, there, I told you that I heard rumors that there's plans to turn on face for that feud. But uh, they haven't done anything yet. No, I know. So I'm they're still, heels right it's now. Still early. Then, still early. I, I mean, WrestleMania is three weeks away, right? Or four weeks away, right? Yeah. So I mean, it's not early. Well, <laughs> like, I mean, they announced the matches. But I'm, but I'm saying in four weeks you're gonna like turn the new day face. Build up a program, but then versus the League of Nations and make me care about it. Not gonna. Well, I mean happen. that that well the last part, yes. Yeah, like that's yeah. not gonna happen. Well, I can agree with that. That's why I can't see a face turn. I mean, maybe it comes at Mania, but like I can't I can't see it like in the lead up to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can like see these that. next couple weeks, like well, I can't see the New Day coming out. I mean, for God's sake, the crowd's the already crowd. freaking like. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. all right. The I crowd agree. will cheer for them, but I can't see their characters coming out as faces anytime soon. Yeah. Like, it just would not make any sense just because they need a WrestleMania opponent, like. Now you probably should have been building up people to fight them, you know, when you realize, hey, uh, it's December, WrestleMania's in three months, we should probably get a tag team ready for these guys, or, because you know, they're, like, the hottest, consistently the hottest act in our company now. Or call up one of the hottest tag, well, tag teams, Enzo and Big Cass. Maybe that's what happens. Yeah, maybe. You know, maybe, 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 still, maybe the still dirt sheet dream, rumors uh, were just for uh, Roadblock. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Uh, nice job. But yeah, dude. I thought, in my opinion, this was probably AJ Styles' best performance in yeah, the WWE I had ring. My A plus 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 matchup. This was amazing, dude. He was. It awesome. shows why the New Day has been the tag team champs as long as they For have. Two hundred days People now. People say, "Oh, they put on Boar Matt." Well, they don't have any real opponents. I mean, they really haven't had like a real feud in a while now. Like yeah. against a quality team. That TLC match was. Awesome. You see what happens when they got a quality team they're going against right now? Oh yeah. With yeah, some good, that's good wrestlers, why, good that's workers. That's why the New Day is still your tag team champions. <laughs> Dude, when stop when Styles did the uh the, spring, back, the springboard DDT. Oh no no no! There was the springboard four fifty splash. Oh, he did that too. Yeah he yeah. Did a springboard. Oh the DDT. DDT. Oh the reverse. Beautiful. Oh my god. The, Beautiful. Uh, I got out of my chair Dude, on that he one. He couldn't have hit that any more crisp. Uh, but, uh, Kingston too. They worked so well with the that other. whole thing. Even the, the end, perfect too. Big oh, Biggie counters the uh, catch breaker. Up. Then he puts him into the big ending. Oh that was awesome. It just like great ending. If you it? if like if there's like tag team guys coming up in the world and you want to see how to like put on WWE style tag match, watch that match. Know, there you go. Yeah, that was a. Fun. It was a very fun match, and it had me for a second thinking why two AJ could have won the titles, and it was and that heel turn by Jericho. I thought that was great. I don't know about you. I thought that was one, like two or three. Code, three, like three, right? Three, yeah. And he sold him great. Eight Styles was selling Put him the great. Shirt in his mouth. Yeah, it made him choke, and he called him "you son of a bitch." I'm like, oh, this is good. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind. I, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't mind him fighting again. I don't. I wouldn't mind it. I know, definitely not. But it's not gonna happen, you know. What's that? Are you talking about New Day versus Y2H? No, no, no. I'm talking about Styles and uh, Oh, that'll Jericho. definitely happen. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's okay. going to happen. Yeah. yeah. I thought you meant New Day versus... Uh, how about, it, how about a submission match, them two? Uh, yeah, good work. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm generally not a big fan of submission matches, but those guys could definitely make it. That'd be cool. Work. I haven't seen one in a while. That's why. Yeah, that's all I saw. Yeah. I, uh, they're, I don't know, they tend to just be very slow, like, grind matches, it seems like, for the most part, submission matches. And unless you have, like, true specialists like Bret Hart and Kurt Angle out there... Or like you know, uh, Chris Benoit, up, like real, Daniel like, Bryan. yeah. I, I they don't draw me in. None of these guys are except I, for I, Jericho. It's just something I was thinking of. I don't know. Yeah, well, stop thinking of dumb stuff. Well, I apologize for <laughs> that. <Just kidding. laughs> yeah, what is up with uh, the Divas title? Like, they, they just completely just disrespected this whole Divas revolution thing they but, talked about. Wait, what happened? They gave him like I'm like, they gave him like three minutes. Oh, bad. Yes. Like, how do you expect? Like, you're telling well, the tag if match. You, if you have a three hour show, and you give. You know, one of your titles. You know, like, not just, like, a random feud. I'm talking, like, a, a belt. Like, a title is behind this feud. You give this, like, three or four minutes of TV time. Like, that's telling fans, clearly you don't care about this, so why the hell should I care? That's true. You know, like, I didn't really think about that. That's 100% what you're telling fans. You're saying, I don't put any effort into this. You know, I'm just, you know, these girls are just going out and doing whatever they do, but they're getting nothing from us. Like, you know, we're not helping them. We don't care. So, like, as me as a fan, you now I love the old, I love Becky and Sasha. I, I like Charlotte. I, I'm not the great biggest fan of her. Yeah. But um, you know, I I'll pay attention because I love them out. You know, because I'm a fan of wrestling. I, I mean, know who they are. And everything. Well, right, but if, if I'm like some casual wrestling. fan and you know I'm trying to like get into wrestling, if WrestleMania season, I'm looking to you know get back into the product. Yeah. Then I look at the Divas division and like, oh, you know, you know, here's uh here's some here's some change some seconds and some change on this uh this card. Get people invested in your feud. Good luck. I'm not going to want to care about that when, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the front of the show and Shane's got, you know, 15 minutes of talking. You know, Dean Ambrose gets, you know, like three times in the ring in the night. You know, Ziggler gets one versus three. Like, 
Yeah, it's it's just disrespectful. Yeah, I can agree. With the, with the level of talent those three girls yeah. have. Especially, well, the level of girl, talent they have that they're not using as well. Yeah, like yeah, Italian not, yeah page. not to mention that. But, I, ju- I mean, I know, specifically I, those yeah, three. Yeah, like, absolutely. That's just a slap in the well, it's just That's like, you know, having like, I mean, and I'm not making like comparisons uh, star power, but like, you know, it's like, you know, oh, uh, here, Batista, you know, um, Kevin Nash and whatever. Daniel Bryan are in the ring together. Yeah. Here's four minutes. Good luck. <laughs> like, yeah, they would never do that to no. guys that they that, that they say they care about. But yeah. then they'll go do it to women and then say it's a demon's revolution. Then you're going to talk about girl power and all your uh, stupid Total little demon promos bullshit. and shit. And you get the fuck out of here. Like, you're a completely sexist and racist company. And, like, you prove it in your actions. But then you're just going to come out and be like, yeah, fight fight against the oppression guys. So, like, right. it's just crap. But, you know, they really... I hope we still have three weeks now going into the meeting. They start building them better, you know. Oh uh, yeah, you know def- maybe, maybe they get maybe a lot more time. They, they mean, need like a big segment. I you mean, know, what they've what they've done has worked. Like, yes. I mean, like you know, like the little, the little backstage of- segment between Sasha and Becky, like that was good. Charlotte's yeah. attack, that was good. Like on paper, you know, they got all the pieces there, but they're just squeezing it into such yeah, a little like time space match. that like it's like this happens, this happens, this happens, and like, then it's over, and it's like I can't even really. You know, appreciate what's going on. I can't like ride the ride. You know, a ro- what the fuck's a roller coaster if you get on it and then you get off in five seconds? Yes. Like, you know, you go, you go around one loop and then you're back in the in the tracks. Like, you're like what the hell? I waited yeah, thirty minutes yeah. for this. I wasted all my time on this. It's bullshit. Yeah. You you need to and give we, these girls some time to make me care. And me and you have so much time invested in Charlotte, Becky, and Sasha from NXT. Yeah, Love, yeah. You know? yeah. We and didn't just start watching them a little bit ago. No, we've been big fans of them for a couple of years now. So. Hopefully oh, right. that match, they, they've been building it as a marquee match. I mean, it's already an announced match on WrestleMania, so let, you got to hope they get the time, like NXT takeovers, you know? Yeah, yeah I guess. they got to get that. They deserve it. They deserve it. Uh, not, <laughs> well, not that I guess on that. I was thinking of something else. Oh, okay. I wasn't, like, somewhat disagreeing with you on yeah, that. They yeah. definitely deserve yeah. the time. I was just thinking um, how this match, or this segment got... Around the same or less time than Brie Bella like, and Lana. Summer eight. Oh, yeah, Summer eight too. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, I, hate, I was just thinking, oh, that's where I got lost. I hate that they, like, promote stuff. Like, I don't understand you have to promote certain stuff. But Total Divas, so- like, fucking sucks. Like, stop yeah. talking about that. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, and that's I cool. hate Like, if there's some stupid, like, you know, I don't need to say stupid, because I like that, you know, most people will say me what, liking wrestling stupid. <laughs> But yeah. if, you know, there's some, some college chick out there who likes to come home and put on Total Divas and listen to these girls act catty, good Go for, for you. Yeah, yeah, that's nothing, you know, nothing against like, you. I like to watch these guys beat the shit out of each other in the ring. That's my thing, you know. Most like people would call story, basketball you know? stupid in its essence. I just spend hours like a dumbass watching my TV, watching some <laughs> dudes dribble an orange around. But, you know, it is, what, <laughs> it is what you like. But that doesn't mean that you should cross-promote the two because they don't fit the same audience. The audience that you're targeting to watch Total Divas, just because there's wrestling girls on the show, doesn't mean that the girls watching it like wrestling. Now, if you want to promote that, do it for your damn commercials, not when the TV show is <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, no, well, they put commercials on the show, so we get the best of the world. God damn it. Like, do they ever have, like, a match anymore that, like, doesn't have a commercial you know what that really takes out all the air I, out one of my, through? One of my biggest pet peeves for Rawls... When there's a damn commercial for the goddamn main event, there should never be a commercial. For the never, main. yeah, never, but, but for, never. But for ever, the beginning ever. of Raws, and you know, I liked the the recent ones, but the twenty minute straight promos, like, come on now, like seriously. Yeah, it needs to stop. Was, that was a big problem with Seth's whole reign. Yes, just, exactly. Just like, constant like, drilling. Why can't promos. there be like a ten minute like thing, like to start off the show and then yeah. a commercial? No, and this then, week, they go into, what this I, week was know, an exception because it was of the Shane O'Mac. Yeah. But yeah, I get what you, you I know. Get what I mean. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's it's frustrating. It beats you down after having to do that six weeks in a yeah, row. Yeah, like like a match I've been looking forward to, like Ambrose and Wyatt. Like, all right, let's go, let's go. And then like first two minutes, Dan Carson, like you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> like I was about to turn it off. Like it's so stupid. That's I did. I you watch it live still too, don't you? Yeah, dude. I don't know how the hell you do that. You just you, I mean you watch like more commercials and more of Michael Cole than you do watching right? like let that sink in. Well, I don't have DVR you watch either. More, if I had DVR, you watch I would definitely more do com- it commercials and more of Michael Cole just looking at the camera talking to you than you probably watch wrestling when you watch Raw. Like, that's yeah. pretty disappointing. No, it is. I mean, I really want DVR bad because then I would not probably watch it live. Or you could learn how to use a computer since it's 2016. It's a great point, Mike. You can, uh, um, you know, just go on, ready? You go to Google and you type, watch wrestling. 
Yeah. And then you click the link. Okay. And then you go to Raw, and then you click a link, and then you can watch the show. It's pretty crazy. Dude, really? Yeah, it took me like... I don't maybe know, like I just, 17 seconds to figure out <laughs> so no, I just enjoy, maybe with a couple months of practice you could get it <laughs> I enjoy watching it live because sometimes you never know what's going to happen with like the surprises like Sami Zayn coming yeah, back it's, and, the like, same, the it's the same thing if you watch it online just right. don't read spoilers or you know, well, you know don't have people but, text you and tell well, you all the cool stuff that happens I didn't do it that this week you warned me I said he was watch like, Raw tonight like, yeah watch Raw I think Sami Zayn's coming back I'm did, not going to tell you any bullshit. spoilers no, did not say that bullshit Come on now. I, no, you, I've been, I've been you just good. said watch Raw. It's gonna the only be thing I messed up was the Shano Mac, but I did not give away the match or the stipulation. Yeah. Well, I can't watch Raw live. I'm busy on Monday yeah. nights. But either way, it's better to watch it recorded because you don't have to sit through their crap. Like, you know, like when uh, you know, when Brie Bella comes out and she's fighting Summer Rae, you can be like, oh, what's this? <laughs> What's this button? I can move forward Fast 15 forward. minutes. Oh, there we go. I'll just read <laughs> well, about would, this I, online later, and if it was good, I'll go back and well, watch it. I would want to see Lana. I would fast forward to the yeah. Lana part. <laughs> yeah, that's, there you go. You can re- yeah. rewind, fast forward, forward, pause, do whatever you, you got to do. Subscribe to the WWE Network. <laughs> I know we were kind of talking about it earlier, but how do you feel about Ryback and Kalisto for the U.S. title? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a I'm not it crazy be a ladder it, match, dude. But I, I don't hate it either because... For one, it gets Kalisto away from Alberto Del Rio, which you know is good for everybody. Oh yeah, because I definitely think Kalisto's a talent. He needs to talk. I like Kalisto. He needs to develop like a connection with the audience, other than just the lucha chant and like it's high flying. He needs to talk. He need, you know, like Rey Mysterio is very similar, and he. Uh, I'm using the Mysterio because everybody compares him to him. Yes. Um, you know, Mysterio is very similar. He he didn't find his voice until a little bit into uh, his wrestling yeah, career, and well, especially his WWE run too. I think an opponent like Ryback. You know, could be a hindrance if they don't give it any attention. But if they give it like, even like somewhat creative, you know, attention, it could be a really good feud. Ryback's a completely different style than Kalisto. Like yeah, he's yes. a bruiser, you know, high power kind of guy. But Ryback has also been messed around with like luchador style wrestling a little bit yeah, for his yes. size. So that could be really interesting too, seeing him fight someone like Kalisto, who's a trained, you know, professional in that type type of wrestling. It gets. The whole size thing, you know, huge ass Ryback next to little Kalisto, especially with Ryback not wearing that dumbass singlet anymore. He looks even bigger than usual. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He looks huge anymore. My only question is, do you think that's a WrestleMania match though? Um, but do you mind it? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't right hate now, it, but... right now, I would say no. But I, I can't. If I say no to that, I contradict everything that I want right. for wrestling because True. I always say you got to have your young guys get spots at WrestleMania. You know. Shawn, I can't, Ma- Shawn get, Michaels yeah. didn't become Shawn Michaels from, you know, just getting shows at fucking, you know, just well, his, his around. biggest matches. Shawn, yeah, Shawn Michaels didn't just get to be the heartbreak kid from going, uh, you know, winning matches at Payback and uh, Night of Champions. Well, his selling point was WrestleMania 10 against Razor and yeah. in that ladder match. So you, you, the next year, he's fighting for the title. You gotta, let, the, two years you gotta yeah. let these young guys get spotlight when you can. And I while can't, yeah. right away, it may not make sense. I mean, these two, for all we know, the, I mean, look at Kalisto in that ladder match from before. Yeah. I mean, that dude put on... Probably the best performance of any single guy on that entire paper. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's why I was hoping so, that you know, they give him fifteen twenty minutes at WrestleMania to go. It could be something great. That's why I was hoping they they would get the ladder match. Kalisto would because I think he would put on a phenomenal job again. They could still do something cool with it. Too. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, not, I'm yeah. not I'm not all against it, but I just think Ryback's promo really just distanced distance me from <laughs> a okay, little yeah, bit. You yeah, know, yeah, homeboy's got uh, some work to do. Yeah, that was not good at all. And we are Ryback supporters here on the Smart Show. What uh? What <laughs> you, uh, we're uh? I mean, we pretty much got through everything. But what are you um? You know, moving forward here, we got the pay per view coming up. We were talking about that, but the return of Roman Reigns looms. He's going to be back sometime soon. Okay. What do you think they're going to do? For what do you think they're going to do with him? Like honestly, what, my, all right. The, like what, not what you want. What do you actually think they're going to do with him? Because what, he's, yeah, because he's going to come back. And just get eviscerated with booze. I know. Because you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not every. Me. I mean, it's not like. I think WWE thought they were being smart originally. It, they were horrible. like, he needs a surgery. You know, we can you can make Triple H look strong. We can write him off TV. That way we avoid some of the booze. But I don't think they planned on people catching on to it as fast as they did. Like, people are immediately like, oh, we know what you're doing. We, like, I knew, I knew we right away. Chicago, I knew right we away. see Detroit here, Chicago, We see Canada, Brooklyn, we see Philly, Philly, we see Pittsburgh. Yeah, we see these cities and Roman Reigns is suddenly not right. on the card when he's been on every fucking show ever for, you know, since the Shield We're not broke stupid. Out. We're not stupid. Yeah. You can't so. insult our damn intelligence, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, God damn it, dude. Like, 
They just they just forcing them down a freaking. So throat what do you think they're more. gonna do with them though? Because I mean, like, right. the whole yeah, like Shane O'Mac, like the things that he said. WWE is a hundred percent aware of how people feel about Roman Reigns. They have they to. Know, yeah. They have to. I, well, I mean, they they do uh, the way the things Shane O'Mac was saying. Yeah, yeah. They know, like they know that people don't like Roman Reigns. Do you think it changes anything when he comes back? What no. do you think happens? I still he's think just gonna go and fight Triple H. Uh, yeah. Well, he's, yeah. what's going to happen is Triple H might be down, like it'll be him and League of Nations, and they'll be down at Ambrose, and then oh, Reigns will come out, and they, they might get like a little stupid shock pop, and then people will realize, oh shit, he's back. Let's fuck yeah. him. But wait, <laughs> he just cleared the ring of four guys in the League of Nations and the WWE potentially champion. potentially a couple Hall of Famers yeah. in that group. Like, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's um, it's even more disappointing that I mean, and it's cool that we get to see Ambrose in this top spot. Like, it's fun. It, the the ride that we've had with Ambrose for the past yeah. few weeks. I mean, it's Ambrose been has fun. been Ambrose has been fucking killing yeah, it. By the way, we, we haven't mentioned that he has been killing yeah, it with his promos, like, dude. God damn, man, he's been awesome. It, That's the true main event, by the way. It's been fuck you, Roman. It's been fun with with Ambrose, <laughs> but like, it's even more of a disappointment knowing that he's really just here to be a placeholder. He's a scapegoat. Yeah, just so. We they they get some shears leading into Mania, so you know when their their champion comes back, he can just ride the momentum that Amber's built. But I don't think that's gonna work. Neither do I. It's but not gonna work I at just, all. You know, and there's gotta be. I'm I mean, not gonna I, say. I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna be surprised if it happens. Yeah. Like a swerve because they've swerved us the past there has two to be manias. Some, I, you know, you know, like they, I, yeah. I have to give them that they realized no, they the have. past two manias were gonna be botches, and they 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 altered course, but. I don't know if they're gonna do it this year. I've been trying to tell you that, but I, I I'm starting. I, there's, there has to be, there has to be something to like make this main event not suck. Like, it's gonna suck. <laughs> like, I, well, <laughs> I mean, it's gonna suck, but it's gonna suck. But at the same time, it'll be great because it's gonna suck. Like, think about this, you know, like just think about just being blasted drunk, watching Roman Reigns get booed by eighty something thousand people, yeah. and Triple H getting equally cheered by eighty something thousand people. Uh, speaking of, um. Apparently they just sold like the amount of tickets 000. that broke the record for them, right? Oh, really? Yeah, I read. I don't. I don't. I couldn't tell you the number off the top of my head, but around well, like five o'clock today on Bleacher, uh, Bleacher Report, I got an update and it said WWE has sold eighty whatever thousand tickets, um, like cementing it as uh, the record breaking number already. So whatever apparently but WrestleMania whatever, three was ninety three thousand. Whatever they sold so far was hmm. apparently a record breaker. I, again, I can't tell you the exact no, no, numbers. No, no, no. I, uh, I, we'll I didn't it, know. We'll look it up when the show goes off. But um, yeah, I the Bleacher Report. I mean, maybe they reported wrong too. But yeah. they a hundred percent earlier today. I got an update on my phone said they uh they, they broke the whatever record they're trying to break. They oh, okay. broke in ticket I sales. I did not hear that actually. Yeah, it's shocker. It's a couple hours, like probably like seven hours ago now. Oh that yeah. I got uh, it, I was so. probably at work. So yeah. But dude, slaving. Yeah, slave, slave, slave. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, like dude, like there has to be a swerve at this main event. I, 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 I'm starting to get back to that. I don't think there is because I'm going to be negative, Nancy. But you know, th- there, there was a report I read that there's going to be a guest referee, and I'll probably be Shawn Michaels or something. Well, <laughs> the a rumor I heard about Michaels is he, he's either doing a run in or he's being the guest ref. There's another rumor I heard with another Foley? guy. Yeah, yeah, I heard about him Mick too. Foley is apparently. I think yes, he's going to be with Taker and Shane. He's though. supposed to be coming back next Monday, and uh, yeah, like that's all right. That's re- uh, revealed is that he's going to be. It said, I think the exact wording was starting a storyline to go into uh, wrestle or starting an angle to go into WrestleMania. So like, I don't know if that means his own angle, like he's going to come in with somebody. You know, maybe he'll team up with you know one of the divas. Uh, like again, Charlotte and Charlotte has Ric Flair. Maybe he maybe he represents Becky, Becky Lynch. Or yeah, because um, I know then, he's then a, Snoop Dogg goes with Sasha Banks. <laughs> I know he's expressed that he like, yeah, wants to work with her. That's a good in the past. point. Like wow. Um, so something like that could happen, or you know, like like he you know he could Something's he could come in Shane. Shane's corner and be like, listen, I've been in a hell in a cell with this dude, and he almost killed me. Like, yeah, all he that, threw yeah. me off the top. And he twice. was he was a special. You really want to do this, Shane? Like that could be the that could be the thing that leads to Shane saying. Oh, fuck this, Cesaro! You're gonna fight. You know, not, not, oh, he's injured, but you know what Finn I mean. Finn Balor, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna pull a number. I'm not getting in that cage. Like, or he, you know, his music hits. He comes down, and then you know, whatever. The Miz is in the ring or something. With the it's other the team. Miz. <laughs> How great would that be? All this build up, and then they're just like, No, it's great, Kali. Uh, yeah, I don't think I could fight him. Uh, I'm gonna choose our truth. No, you'll be the best. The returning giant Gonzalez. Yeah. <laughs> After the long, however years waited match rematch. 
from being, WrestleMania 9. Him being dead might throw a wrench in that plane, but... Did not know that. <laughs> Whoops. That's yeah. pretty bad on my part. Yeah. My wrestling knowledge <laughs> shit. All right. I'll think of somebody yeah, else. Yeah, I mean, that's... King Kong Buddy. There might be a little hard for them to do that one, but, you know, they can hey, pull it off. Who knows? They the talked under, about the Reed. Under, the Undertaker is the dead man himself, yeah, I mean, so... Katie Vick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, since we're making uh, dead people jokes, we should probably wrap this one up because it's probably going to go down the rabbit's hole pretty uh, soon. I, I need to watch Sami Zayn versus Samoa Joe in NXT as the number one contenders match. I know who wins, but I heard it's a fantastic match, two out of three falls. Just wanted to mention that. Go NXT. Fuck you, Roman. <laughs> All right, well, you got Steve's closing thoughts there. Um, this has been episode 29 of The Smart Show. We're just about an hour mark here, so good timing for this episode. Got anything else you want to say? You got, uh, got, got all that out with that fuck room. Yeah, that, that, I think that's a good way to end it. Yeah. For me, at least. All right, guys, um, you know, tune into Roadblock. We will be back talking about it, you know, as soon as we can. Tune uh, into our Twitter. As soon as we I'm, can get together oh, again, yeah. Um, yeah. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, like definitely. this video, like our other videos if you uh, like them, or even if you didn't like them anyway. I like to, uh, leave a comment. Out, homies. Leave yeah. a comment. Really? Give us feedback. Yeah. Give us your thoughts on WrestleMania, Roadblock, uh, Roadblock this Saturday. That's what it's called. As uh, Steve was saying earlier, you can follow us on Twitter. Um, the show's Twitter is the Smart Show at Twitter dot com. Uh, Steve, what's your Twitter? Uh, Steven Herman ten. And we have uh, myself, who does not have a Twitter, and our other co-host, who's not with us right now, Nick Tricom. It's uh, it's Snick is his Twitter. That's I T S S N I C K, I believe. That is right. But yeah, check us out. I'll probably like to eat on a Saturday for uh, the, the pay-per-view, so check us out. We almost got 200 yeah. followers, guys, so and our, uh, thank you for that. About our Facebook, you could go on there, too, and we have a Tumblr as well, yep. smartshow.tumblr.com. That, that is it. Well, this has been 29. We're uh, we're almost on the, the triple decade. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Triple decade That's mark insane. coming up. <laughs> Episode 30 next time. Maybe we'll get Lesnar on for it. I'm going to guarantee <laughs> we are getting Lana, Sasha Banks, and Paige on the show. And then, you know, I'm uh, I'm in talks with Conor McGregor's people to bring him on afterwards. Oh, no house. way. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get him and Diaz on here. They're going to battle it out on the mic. Man, that is, that'll be something. Maybe we'll get a second microphone next week. I'd be like, no, no, MMA fans <laughs> listening to this. Are just, yeah. Who are these? Are they, are they TNA guys? I'll, I'll say it off the, the microphone. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, that'll do it for the Smart Show. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll Peace see out. you next week.